Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is David McCulloch. I am the Cannabis Fisherman. Today I have gotten the mail, the earliest I've ever gotten, my Mystery Tackle Box Elite. So we're going to do an unboxing. Today is the 8th of August. I have never gotten this so early in the month. It usually comes the 15th, the 17th, the 19th, or something like that. So I'm really, really happy. I wish it would come yesterday. I got up early this morning, I went fishing in Lake Berryessa. And uh, I only caught two fish. And I took the GoPro and I was recording. And uh, the battery died in two hours. I asked a lot of people that have GoPros how long the battery should last. Like three or four hours. Well, mine did not last three or four hours. And I know I got to get more GoPros and more batteries. But this is the, I just got this thing and I took it out today. This is the first time I had an opportunity to get out and take it fishing. And I was unable to uh, land, to, to boat a fish while the battery was good. Now, I did catch a bass on the whopper plopper. He got off. And then I had another one that swiped at it. Missed it by like six inches. And, uh, but I had a really good time. Uh, I did, so I didn't, I didn't uh, get to take a picture of a fish that uh, I landed. My, you know, my phone, my phone died using my eye bobber. So I gotta be much better prepared next time, I can tell you that. But let's get into this mystery tackle box. So let me take these off, because I'm near side, I don't need them. Um, and see what we got this month. All right, first thing we'll do is we'll grab the, the devil's card here. And we'll see what we have. Oh, okay, they put it on this side, there we go. So let's see. Uh, live target, Shad Ball Magnum Rattlebait. Oh, this sounds exciting. Oh, this is really cool. So this is the Live Target Bait Ball Series, and this one's called the the Shad Bait Ball Magnum. It, it's a rattlebait. So it's a lipless prank bait, but it's a big one. Well, I mean, it's really long. It's pretty thick. Let me pull it out of here for you. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's really nice. I like the light. I've got a lot of live target stuff. I like their their stuff. Now, I've got some other bait ball um, lures. That I guess I'll have to do a video on those because it's from a, a Chinese company. Nobody knows anything about, but they're they're awesome lures. I mean, they're really cheap, uh, and they went out of business. I don't know if you can even get them anymore unless Amazon's still carrying them. I heard they were going to stop carrying them, but I'll have to do a video on it anyway. So this is really cool. Let's see what color it says it's supposed to be, if it says... It does not have the color, oh, what is it? Threadfin Shad. It's, it says Threadfin Shad. So I guess that's the color it's supposed to be. But, uh, well, that's nice and big. I'll have to take that at the very S or Clear Lake one of these days. All right, let's see what we have next. Stanford Baits. Okay, wait a minute. The, uh, the Shad Bait Ball Magnum Rattle Bait is uh, $16.49 MSRP. Now, Stanford Baits, the Boom Boom Frog, $10.99. Let's find the Boom Boom Frog. Here it is. Oh, wow. Well, that's different. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is on this. Let's open it up. It's got something on the top of it that looks really weird, like a piece of Velcro or felt or something. And I'm not sure what it's for. I'm thinking, well, maybe it's a place to put some scent on a topwater frog, so when they bite it, they hang on to it. I mean, a piece of cloth or sponge-like material that would actually hold the scent. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Pop that out of there. Okay, you see this on the top right there? That's like a, it's like the, uh, not the hard part, but the soft part of Velcro. Not the hook part, but the other part, not the loop part, but the other part that the loop's hooked to. And I'm assuming that's just to put some some scent in, maybe. Um, let's see what it says on the box. The box is kind of hard to read. I don't like the way they... See, for allows fish... Longer fish holding bite. I'll have to go to the website. It doesn't say. But it does look to me like that right there is just to pour some... I mean, that's what I would assume it's for. You could pour some scent in there and or spray some scent on there, and it'll stay on there for a while. So that's not a bad-looking frog. Uh, it's not real big. It's got a nice little weight to it. Let's see if it says what the weight is. And it does not say what the weight is. But uh, and the legs aren't as long as a lot of them are. You know, when they come off, I'll probably still clip them just a little bit. We'll see. But uh, that's not bad. You know, it's uh, it looks like a nice little bait. I got a lot of frogs, but uh, you never have enough frogs. 
So let's just put that to the side. See what we got next. Okay, so again, that was the Boom Boom Prague. And it doesn't... Stanford Bates. So made by Stanford Bates. Boom Boom Prague 1099. And now I got... Ooh! Bio Spawn Vile Craw. I haven't got any of these yet, but I've been waiting for them to send me some. Or uh, maybe pick some up. Because I've heard good things about them. Seen a couple of reviews on YouTube for them. And uh, this is the Black Blue Felt Lake 4-pack. And... Three fifty nine is the suggested retail price. I've got the Eco Stick or Exo Stick, whatever they call it. That I got in the Mystery Tackle Box a few months ago, and uh, I've caught a couple of fish on that. I uh, rigged it like as a as a drop shot. Haven't Texas rigged it yet. Um, haven't Wacky rigged it yet. But I did put it on drop shot, and it worked. So these are nice. You guys have probably seen these before. Uh, I have, you never have enough plastic, so I'm glad about that. Now let's see what we got here. Next, we got the Strike King Rage Tail Twin Tail Menace Grub. Ooh, I love Strike King plastic. So here we go. And this looks like another four pack. And it's the Rage Tail. And let's see, does it say a color? I mean, it looks like a green pumpkin type. But no, it does not say a color anywhere on the package. That's pretty crappy, but anyway. $2.99 for those four. You know, it's nice about Strike King. Strike King is not that expensive for their soft plastics. I mean, not as bad as others. And there's other cheaper ones, but the Strike King work really good. I like some of their drop shots, though. Okay, so let's see what we got next. Uh, a Bait by Duel. It's a Hardcore Shad Crank. $11.99. Let's find out. Hardcore Shad Crank. Here it is. The Hardcore Shad Crank. Zero plus. So it looks like it just, it's not a deep diver, it's a shallow diver apparently. It's Japanese bait. So a lot of the writing you can't read, some you can. Let's pull it out here and get you, get a look at it, huh? I can figure out how these things open up. I always have a problem with these dual. Oh, they, that's why they staple. I forgot. They staple. They put a staple when they bend that over. That's why they're always so hard. One of these days I'll remember that. Okay, here we go. And the hooks are always hooked inside the package somehow. You gotta get them out of there. They tie them together with some sort of bread twist or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you gotta rip it to get it out of there. That I don't like. I really don't like that at all. And I don't like it when they do this with the hooks, the little tie. You know, we're fishermen. We're used to not hooking ourselves. Most of the time anyway, right? Anyhow, this is a cute little bait. I love the color. Look at that. See the top? That's nice, nice gold top. Just a plain white bottom. Got the dark, dark spots on the side. Got some pretty nice looking eyes on it. The eyes look really cool. So, and the hooks, yeah, I'll have to change out the hooks. They're not that sticky. Pretty typical. There's not a lot of baits where you can just get the hook right out of the box and it's fine. Yeah, there's a few. The newer Whopper Ploppers, you know, the Whopper Ploppers used to come when they first came out really nasty, nasty hooks on them. They've improved that lately. All right, so we got that one. So that's one, two, three, four, five baits so far. One, two hard baits, the frog, and two plastics. All right, what do we got next? Z-Man, Chatterbait Freedom, it says, 849. I've got a couple other Z-Man Chatterbaits in my mystery tackle box. So let's see what we got here. Ooh. Yeah. So it says Chatterbait for Z-Man Freedom. See what it says how much it weighs. It's nice to know what the weight is on these things. And of course it does not say. So let me pull this out and let you get a look at it anyway. I can get a look at it too. There we go. And they've got it tied to the card, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now, but that's the color. I like the color. It's, it's like a shad pattern, a white with some black in it. Or some, yeah, that's black rather than blue. Um, ooh, look at the head on that. I like the head. That's a nice head. And, wow. Well, so it's a swinging chatterbait. But uh, look at that head. It's different than, than the other ones that I have that are just like jig heads. You know, so that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, Z-Man makes 
probably the best chatterbaits. There's other people who make chatterbaits, but most people seem to think the Z-Mans are the best. And I can't argue with that right now. They are pretty good. So, um, and the chatterbait is something new to me, something that I recently discovered uh, within the last year. And uh, I'm not sure how it slipped by me. It did. But uh, I'm having fun with it. I need to fish it more. I fished it a few times. Caught a couple of dinks on it. I need to fish it some more. So now let's see what else we have in here. So that was the chatterbait from Z-Man. The Freedom Chatterbait. Now, Hoax Fish Scam Shad. Hoax Fish 359 Scam Shad. Oh, it's another plastic. I've never heard of Hoax Fish Scam Shad. It's in candy grass color. So let's pull it out so you can take a look and see. It doesn't say if there's any scent or not. It references, on the back it references Genesis 126. I'll have to figure out what that is. Something about fishing probably. Yeah. Jesus catching a fish or who knows what. No, there's no scent really, but oh look at that. That is different. A scam shad. I have never seen anything like this. And uh, I'm going to have to assume and try to figure out what the top is. I'm going to assume this is the top and the flat side is the bottom. Although it could be the other way around, couldn't it? I may have to go to their website and find out. Because there's no picture of it rigged or how to rig it. Of course, you rig it the way you want, but there's no picture. So, uh, interesting. I'll figure that out. I just have to rig it both ways and throw it and see how it swims. And heck, you know, if you do it the wrong way, sometimes that's the best way to catch something. So, we're rigging it the wrong way. The fish haven't seen it that way before. So, that's really cool. I'm excited to try that. I have never seen a plastic that looked like that. Hoax Fish. Have you guys seen this brand? If you do, leave a comment. Let me know, uh, you know, a little bit about them. I've never seen them. How long have they been around? Do you know? Uh, why don't I see them at Bass Pro? Or maybe I just did and didn't notice it. Definitely don't see them at Dick's or Sportsman's Warehouse. Or you don't see it at Walmart. And I haven't even seen an ad for that. So let's see what else we got here. Hard Hat Jigs. Rear Loader Swing Jig. Ooh. A Rear Loader Swing Jig. I like that. And it's 3 8 ounce of a 4 out hook. Hard hat jigs. It's kind of a cool package. It shows a hard hat and a, it looks like a dump truck or a loader or something on there. The rear loader swing jig is pure bottom fishing machinery. It totes a front to back revolving head you can scrape along the bottom for big bites. Rig your favorite creature bait on the hook and get to work. Well, you know what? I'm thinking about matching that big boy up with this here this hoax fish. I'm going to match it up with the bio craw and I'm going to match it up with the rage tail. So that's what I'm going to do next time I go fishing, uh, which is probably going to be next week. Today's Wednesday. My son's coming in from Connecticut tomorrow with his wife and my, my baby granddaughter Madeline. I haven't seen Madeline since right after Christmas of you know, 2018 this year. So I'm really excited to see them. So I probably won't get out this weekend. They're leaving Monday. So I won't get out fishing this weekend, but I will get out next week. I'll get out Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, provided a work schedule allows it. I'm starting to get really, really busy. I had somebody from New Jersey call me yesterday asking for help with a, a cultivation permit. And they need it done by the end of the month. So i got to see if I can even take that project on. They're sending me the information. i got to see if I can even take that project on with everything else i got going on. I mean, I'd like to. But look at this. So it's a football head. He didn't say that, but that's okay. It's a football head. And again, it's uh, 3 8 ounce, so it's got a decent weight to it. And uh, it's got a split ring on here, so you can also change out your hooks. This hook, if something happens to it, you can put on another hook, you can put a bigger hook. Or in some cases, you may want to use a straight shank hook, depending on what you're using. Uh, I think in most cases, I'm going to use an extra wide gap EWG hook, um, because I am going to drag this sucker on the bottom the next time I go fishing. Next time I go to Barry S, I'm going to put that guy down in about 20 or 30 feet of water and see what I can find. All right, that's awesome. Let's see what else is in here. Stickers. I don't usually like the stickers, but well, this one's kind of cool. This is a Catchco sticker, and uh, Great Lakes. Oh, Catchco. And so the fish is reading a book called Great Lakes. That's cool. That might actually get stuck on my boat. 
and uh, if not on the boat, definitely on the tackle box or something like that. But that's really cool. And I see something else in here I've never seen from Mystery Tackle Box. And I like the idea. Let me see and show you. It's a scratching lottery ticket. Let me read what it says on the front. Grand opening. Carl's Bait and Tackle by the Catch Co. Which means company, Catch Co. Scratch and win. Log on to Mystery Tackle Box. Add your favorite items to your cart. Room for the code. Check out the coupon code area. So I'll have to scratch it to find out what it does. And on the back it says, for discount, exclude subscriptions and add-ons. Discount applies to, I guess, if you get a discount. Let me scratch it first. See what we got. Oh, this is great. Guess what they gave me? Guess what I won from Mystery Tackle Box? Free shipping. Well, we already get free shipping. And if I do an add-on and just tell them to send it with the box, I don't pay shipping. So this is to try to get me to buy something without doing an add-on, which frankly is probably not going to happen until they increase their catalog. I like the idea of the Carl's Club. I haven't joined it yet because the catalog's not that extensive. But I'm waiting for them to build it up so that I can. Because I did, last month I had add-on ship with me. I don't know if you guys saw that video or not, but I... I got a shirt and I got some other stuff, some markers, some dye markers. And uh, so I like the idea of the add-ons, doing the add-on. I don't mind waiting to get it with the box because it's free shipping. But that's cool. I'll hang on to this. I may end up using it. Maybe not. We'll see if they send more out or if just this month or if they're going to do it for a couple months or what the deal is. But that's cool. I think they should do that all the time and give away some free gear and the occasional free guest subscription or one box or one one month or a 90 day subscription that you could give to a friend or that you could use to choose a different box or something like that but anyway i got some really good stuff that's the end of the box and again i got this quicker than i've ever gotten my mystery tackle box so i'm really happy that i got it this month and yeah i hope you guys liked the video i i hope this is one of the first ones for the month i'm going to go and upload this right now uh, please give me some likes i'm a, I'm a new YouTuber, I don't have any followers or, you know, I mean, subscribers yet. There's subscribers on YouTube. And uh, only a few likes, half of which are probably.